we are going to, lose, to look at the 5G operations catalyst and the closed loop assurance. 5G is an enabler for IoT applications such as smart factories or connected cars. In particular, the concept of network slicing that we can see on this diagram is allowing to differentiate between different QoS characteristics which are necessary for ultra-reliable and low latency applications. In smart factories, as we can see here, we got sensors, we got robots with high precision cameras, and we do have normal mobile broadband network slices. These are different QoS characteristics which are necessary for these different network slices. 5G as an enabler will allow to differentiate between these different network slices and the network softwareization that is uh, enabled by the 5G technology is going to allow us to dynamically monitor these different KPIs and KQIs and if need be, dynamically scale the different 5G resources. In the Catalyst, we collaborated with Netcracker as a service orchestrator and Micom OSI acted as the service assurance platform allowing to permanently monitor the different SLAs and KPIs and KQIs and if need be, generate conformance alarms and as a result of that, trigger automation policies in order to understand where the problems are located, the exact root cause and if need be, generate some scaling requests sent back to the Netcracker platform, managing some orchest orchestration process in order to dynamically reallocate the resources. We are now going to look at the Catalyst demonstration in which, as part of the EA designer, we could consume network service descriptors coming from the orchestrator on the Netcracker side. The EA designer is where we have implemented the Performance Management API, the TMF628, allowing us to flexibly discover and subscribe to the collection of measurements coming from the different 5G network equipment. We're then going to look at the EASQM where we've got the monitoring of the different KPIs and KQIs for the 5G network slices SLA measurements and conformance alarms. From the conformance alarms we will then look at the automation engine ProActor allowing to trigger root cause analysis scenarios and remediation scenarios in the end generating scaling requests. This is a ProAssure service designer. From the different service models which we are consuming from the orchestrator, we can then select particular entities within the network. And through the use of the TMF628, the Performance Management API, we can discover the different measurements which are supported by the different sources. Using the API, we can then schedule measurement collection jobs which are allowing to then collect the data on a regular basis. Once the measurement collections are started, we then collect different network slices information, KPIs and KQIs, and we can then identify SLA conformance issues as we can see here, where on the robot cams, we do have deviations on both the uplink and the latency, which are two key QoS characteristics of the network slice, as we saw before. As a result of that, conformance alarms can be generated in the case of conformance breach. Such alarm can trigger an autoflow scenario, which we can have a look here. The autoflow scenario allows us to decompose the problem, whether it comes from sensor slices or robot cam slices whether it is an issue with uh, the data rate, the latency, the reliability. Then the different network, network slices which have been identified as having issues are then analyzed to see if the problem comes from the radio side of the 5G network, whether it comes from the slice dedicated resources, or whether it comes from the shared resources. As part of the slice dedicated resources on the run slice in particular, where radio resources are segmented on a per, network, on a per slice basis. 
we look into congestion potential situations while considering the run slice utilization as well as the number of configured entities to analyze the demand. If these two particular metric are within thresholds, then we consider there is a scaling request necessary in order to answer the congestion scenario. We can then generate an action such as a scale out sent to the Netcracker orchestrator. Here we can see that the scenario can be triggered by the alarms generated by the EA SQM. Here, this is an instance of the scenario which was triggered, where we can see that clearly there was an issue with the robot cams on both latency and uplink. The run utilization on the number of connected entities was above a certain threshold. And as a result of that, a scaling request was sent to the Netcracker Mano. So from here, we can analyze a little bit better the problem and how the impact of the uh, scaling request which was sent by Proactor to the orchestrator had a positive or negative impact on the network slice specific to the robots or on the other network slices to make sure that the elasticity of the network was properly used without impacting the, the QoS and the SLA requirements on all the other slices. Through this diagram, we can see a better explanation as to what happened exactly in the smart factory, where the number of connected robots was increasing on a regular basis. There were clearly new robots being connected into the smart factory. As a result of that, we can see that the run slice utilization was also increasing. Once the scaling request was sent to the orchestrator, the orchestrator had a number of orchestration tasks, such as the augmentation of the resources on the run slice specific to the robots. We can see that it goes from 15 to 25 megahertz. Once this is achieved, then we can suddenly see that the run slice utilization is going back to some normal values. Here we're also going to have a look at the other slices. The orchestrator probably used the elasticity that is uh, enabled by the 5G technology. Therefore, to allocate more resources to the robot cams, some of the radio resources on the sensors or the mobile broadband were probably decreased so that they could be allocated to the robot cams. Once the problem is fixed here, we can see that most or all of the slices are back to normal. Therefore, there was no negative impact. On this slide, we can see the different outcomes on the values which were provided by the Catalyst and the use of the Macom OSI products as part of it. Here, we can see how we devised an efficient system to operationalize the 5G operations, or the 5G slices exactly. So the use of closed loop assurance in particular, which is triggered by the product or product, and the use of policy-based automation. These policies are going to be the result of operator-specific practices when it comes to their technical management, but also when it comes to their business management, to decide how they want to leverage the elasticity of the 5G network. We also drilled down into the QoS requirements for 5G. It was a first step. Much more work needs to be done with the different CSPs and with the different vendors to drill down into further details. Also, we established the role of the APIs and the open APIs that are leveraged by the TMF ecosystem. The, particularly, the particular APIs that we used are the Performance Management API, the TMF 628, the Entity Provisioning API, <laughs> and the intent-based SLA and OLA approach. Finally, it was the opportunity to validate the hybrid infrastructure platform principles which has been defined by the TMF Zoom. Yeah.